What's up, vloggers? Tran Dum Dum. This is supposed to be a happy. He's an idiot. A happy, he's an idiot. Happy, every time I go to do anything, it's like what I got to deal with. A happy, an idiot. A happy he wants to record everything, so I said, turn the phone on. He sits up there playing with a dick. Nick, wah, 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 wah. Turn the phone on, you dead dick wad. It's supposed to be a happy and emotional. It's not video. happy when I got to deal with you. You're an idiot. Every time I turn around, you do something stupid. Well, we're doing hooking the trailer up and then getting the money and going and looking. You said you want to record the whole thing, and then you're, I'm sitting there, okay, turn the camera on, turn the camera on. I'm not going to keep beating up. What, what, tell them what we're doing. I'm getting Brantley a dirt bike. So I started looking for a dirt bike, what, yesterday? Two days ago? Um, Went back and forth with a guy. He's two in, days ago, yeah. He's in Stanford, Kentucky. He's got what I'm looking for. We're trying to get him a YZ250F, is which what Justin used to race. Uh, Yamaha, I prefer Yamaha. KTM sucks. I've always said that. I hate them. <laughs> and they want too much money for their stuff and their clowns, if you ask me. But anyway, enough about that. I'll hit that trailer. So I found one that was what the one in Stanford, Kentucky, uh, and the guy can't is not available until what tomorrow he said. Tomorrow at five? No, no tomorrow, tomorrow at two. Because I, I asked him if he's gonna be available today. Because we worked out. So Justin, let's just go get it today. Let's go look at it today. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. We don't even know if this one's getting purchased yet or not. The goats are up there. Hey, did you feed them nasty goats? Not today, no. Oh, I just gonna let them starve. Yeah. No, I didn't feed them today yet. Probably tonight or something when I get back when I'm walking around with a baby. Uh oh. So, anyway, that guy said he could be there today at five. This is the twenty. This is the twenty. This is the twenty twenty one uh, YZ two fifty F. No, the one. Yeah, the one down there is. Yeah. The one in Stanford is. So then I just was running, walking around here looking for, just looking on the internet, and I found a. You said it was on there the other day, there. Yeah, didn't you? I saw it yesterday. It just it it looked. Uh, the guy says it's only been ridden twice, but um, from the pictures, he might have just done like a kid wash and, and washed it. It just doesn't look. It doesn't. Yeah, it's not pristine. It's it not has spotless. been white with a diaper for Justin. It's a dirt bike. You know what I mean? We're gonna be riding it in the dirt. What does it matter? So anyway, we're going. We sent that guy a message and he answered us back. What? Pretty quick, didn't he? Yeah, he's in uh, he's in Florida, but he said his dad's home and they're they're in uh, Norwood. The, they're in Norwood, which is about twenty minutes from here. Yeah, so. which beats two hours. Yeah. So he's so a little a, bit more expensive, but the bike's a year newer. Honestly, I don't know. It's a twenty-two. The one we're going looking at right now is a twenty-two. Yeah, I don't know anything about the new YZ two fifty Fs. I I had uh I had three two thousand nine YZ two fifty Fs in two thousand ten. They went to what the four fifties did. They they uh it's a whole new design so i've never ridden one of those before but the the 09 the old design the geometry was freaking awesome on them but that's why i was telling him that uh the 450 ktm the 2022 uh this one has a map switch on it doesn't it yeah which i don't yeah i guess that'd be good for for them when they're smaller like that but it's a uh, i think it what a map switch is to them i think it has a map i think it has mapping on the on the bar which means you should be able to change the tuning on the fly if you want to with the i gotta see if i got straps in the toolbox with the uh with the bike but honestly i i haven't seen uh yz 250f uh since 2009 so i have i know the intake is up by where the gas i think the gas tank and the intake is are different uh the motor used to be they turned the motors around backwards in the frames but Honestly, that's telling me I got a tail light out in the, in the trailer. Tail lights out. But the. Uh, I gotta see if I got straps in the toolbox here. All right. The last one I had, I had two 2009 250Fs, and um, that's when I was 185 pounds uh, racing. Pretty, uh, pretty strong in 2011 through. I got some cheap ratchet straps. I don't think I got any anchors back there about 13 or something like that but the 250f i absolutely loved they didn't have as many options back then as they do now but they do have a quite a few more uh more options out there or whatever but um trey you know of course when i was a younger when i, when I was growing up and trey was growing up and our other brother eddie was growing up the the uh normal was a two-stroke you know i started on a, a, a suzuki jr50 um it was all two-strokes you know grew up on what yz 80s uh you know and now there's a lot more options out there for for kids or whatever but trey kind of got stuck on the two-stroke thing thing that's why trey likes the um 
you know, the YZ250s and the one, you know, that we gave away. He likes two strokes, so Brantley likes two strokes. But the only problem with two strokes now is Trey's got a thing against KTMs and gas gases and all the nice bikes. Uh, he doesn't doesn't like him. Well, the problem with uh, Jap two strokes is there's only one that makes one, and that's uh, Yamaha. And the only problem with that is they don't come with electric start. And it's not a problem, but um, they just don't come with electric electric start. And they don't uh, the KTMs have oil. Is it called oil injection? where it mixes the oil and gas together. So you can just put regular gas in. You don't got to pre-mix the gas, which is a pain in the butt for a kid, you know? Um, and uh, they have to learn how to how to pre-mix his gas or whatever. But, um, you know, so the KTMs, like the one Garen had was a uh, KTM uh, 250XC, uh, which mixed the fuel for you. But the problem I called today, a brand new one of those right now, a 2024 is $11,000 plus their fees and taxes and you'd be twelve thousand dollars for a for a 250 xe and you know uh, a yz 250 x two stroke is they're like i don't know how much they are eight thousand bucks or something like that that's a pretty big difference but anyways that was a long story to tell you what's going on so anyways seven on a uh on a uh yamaha um uh we're gonna it's a 2022 Guy said he's ridden it twice. Not sure how many hours is on it, but he's out of town. His dad's going to show us the bike. So Trey's grabbing, grabbing the money, and uh, we're going to go take a look at it. So we'll be back. So I'm going to send this to I'm going to send this to Brantley and just to see what his reply is, if he's even awake right now. It's the middle of the day, but typical. You know, he's probably sleeping. So we'll see what he, what he says when I send him this one. Is he on it? Is he like the girls on phones is it does he always have it he that's should. the bike right there we didn't show it yet yeah, he, he should have it i'm gonna scroll to the pictures i know but i gotta see what these directions are taking me yep so I'll see what he says to us make sure that went through going into crossing cincinnati right here it says he read it well he read it it says he read it so let's see what he says crossing over the big mac bridge Replied already. Uh -oh, what do you say? You don't like it? Wow, that's clean. Thumbs up, he gives me. <laughs> so, yeah, in your dreams, we're gonna have to look a little older 2014 or older. I said, I said, yeah, yeah I'd say. That's all I said back to him. Attached at his hip, that's the way they, they are. Well, I mean, he, he normally, he's just a typical kid, but normally he's in bed. Because uh, he plays video games all night. <clears throat> if I do get the day Is anything game, else? No, nah, he is not I do get the thing, hopefully, I get him off the stupid computer for five minutes. Drive me nuts. Did have a, um, man, I don't know if that video is on this channel or not. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. It was, it was a 2019 uh, KX 105. For was it a 105 or 110? KX 110. Him, I got enough for, well, I told him already. This is going to be his his Christmas and birthday present. His birthday's in October and in Christmas. So I told him if he well, he buy, knows he doesn't know about it. No, but he's been sending me stuff, Justin. Like it's just typical kid. He'll send me a, a post and show me this and show me that. And I just told him. About two weeks ago, I said, "But if I get you a bike, I said it's that's going to be your Christmas and your birthday present. As expensive as these stupid things are." Well, said, that's what I that's what I that's what I mean. I don't know if that original video is on this channel or not, but I think it was in I don't know what year that was, 2020 or 2021. What year was that KX? That's what I was trying to figure out. I think, I think it was a 19. Maybe it was Christmas of 21 or something like that. It was an 18 or a 19. Can't remember what year is it? KX 110 or what? What size are those things? KX 105, KX 100. KX 100. That's what it was. It was a KX 100. Because now I they had, sell the one. Of, now they have a KX 105. Yeah, I, I had a KX 100 too growing up. But so we he surprised me with that for that was on Christmas morning. It was freezing outside. Remember? I got that on my phone. I still got that video on my phone. I don't know if that's on this channel or not. But but uh, anyways, I thought it was. We're seven minutes away. We're almost there. Uh, is the deal done? It's not huh? done. The sun is moist outside. It's 85. I don't know if they can see it back there or not. Yeah, there it is right Behind there. us. 
Who went ahead and picked it up? So it's a 2022. Come to find out that um, the Yamahas don't have hour meters on them. I think you can put them on, obviously, when you buy a brand new. But that bike is brand new. Yeah, it's only. Um, that bike's been ridden a couple times, and that's about it. That, that it actually got it from good people. They're honest people, and it's good when you can actually trust the person you're buying something from. And if they were good, sound like really nice, honest people. You yeah, know? the dad dad actually had a what was that a 299 or 99. Same thing I had basically. When we just 2022, we just got rid of a 2022. Uh, we gave it away for a giveaway thing. Yeah. But this one's been um, well taken care of. It's been, uh, I mean, it's still got the breaking oil in it. It's brand new. Yeah. It's definitely not hurt. What do you think he's going to say about anything? What if we unload it? He said, This is garbage. I wanted a 450. I tell him, Go buy his own now. <laughs> got money. No, I think I like it. All right, we'll show you all the bike when we get home here in a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got a text here. And then, um, I guess the clip after that will be Joe and Brantley. We'll be back. Taking off already? Yep. All right, we made it back. We're on. We made it to the house. Live action here. Live action. Look how they put them right there by them mufflers. Both of them got one on each side. Yeah. I guess that's just a heat shield, right? Yeah. yeah. So you don't burn yourself. It's hot. So the so uh, there she sits in all its glory. It doesn't have an hour meter, but I'm I'm. If you guys have, actually comment down below. I mean, I guess you could plug into this thing somehow and figure out how many hours is on the ECM. But the uh, it's literally brand new. Yeah, these are stock tires, and there's, I mean, there's not much wear on it. The little, the little low. Uh, we rode I mean, it. He didn't even take stickers off. He hasn't done nothing. I mean, you know, the only crease I see right here, and it looks like it maybe something pushed it like that, maybe. It, you can tell it hasn't been, the pegs or nothing, it hasn't been down or anything. It's clean. So that's from his... Satcher grips. That's a that's a boot scrape yeah, right there. Scrape. And then this is just a little bit of boot wear right here. And then, yeah, the fa it hasn't, it, unless he wrecked in mud, the factory grips, the only thing you can see is this grip's twisting a little bit, but other than that, it's not a, it's not bad. It's just clean. Good. He just, it just texted us and said he sent us the title. Another thing I don't understand. Why do they still do this? That's the Stupid. first thing. You need to cut this off. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Cut that off with the. I'll get right on it. But it's pretty, it's a lot different than the, the bikes I had. Like I said, in 2010, they changed to this motor. You see right here, they reversed it. So the actual, I don't know what you call that. The exhaust comes out right there and then wraps around the front of the Look, you can go around the head. bar with that still. You know that? Huh? I can still go around the bar with that. That's stupid. It needs to be cut off there. Jump. Cut that off. And then uh, make that a little nicer. And then now, you know, they're nice. They have these nice molded graphics to the to the shrouds. Pretty nice. Oil filter right here. There's a water pump. And oil, oil's uh, still got the original oil in it, but this thing will take five seconds to change the motor oil in. We probably need to do that. Change the oil in. I got in. Case Am's oil next door. Two cases, don't I? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've said that store before. But I, I have a, uh, I don't know if I'll remember. Hopefully, don't get mad at me if I don't remember. But maybe I'll get some of them pictures. I did a mud race. It was in February. Not a mud race. It was a, it was a mud race too. It was a snow race, right? Ew. It was a snow race with mud. Got back here behind mom snow and dad's. Race with mud. Over there, pressure. Well, I should. We'll hopefully put them pictures here in a second. That sounds like a miserable. But I got home, started pressure washing. It was cold, and uh, that don't look bad like that. Clown, clown, uh, don't look bad like that. I don't know. I don't like it. Looks a lot better with a set of bark busters on. That's loose. I'll tighten that up a little I could bit. wrap it around that. No, I'm wrapping. I'll just cut off the the thing. But um, the uh, I got home, started pressure washing. I and I pressure washed and got water down the exhaust. I didn't have my plug. Einstein. Water, water down the exhaust, and that's when you know you used to have a kick a kicker right here. Kicker. And, and this thing ain't got a kicker either, does it? Yeah, Whew. show them that. That's okay. why it has to have a... a now, now fuel. There you go. They sound pretty good stock, too. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get nothing other than that. It's staying right there. I love these 250s. Well, what I gotta do is skip play and thrust over. He's ready to go.
watch the video on it and you can do on the fly tuning with these, but you have to, I guess there's an app for it and you can, and then, I don't know if this is true, but I think there's two maps. There's a, we'll tell Brantley all this again in a second. So anyways, we'll explain that in a minute, but I hydro locked the motor, got water down the exhaust, hydro -locked. started kicking, kicking it over and she seized up, locked up, uh, pulled the, the, uh, what's that called? Head off, no, top of head. No, pulled the, um, spark, spark, spark plug out, in. uh, kick, drained all the oil out of it, changed oil like five times in a row. This is the, at the beginning of the season. And like I said, I rode open A with this thing and beat the crap out of it every race for two hours of race for probably 20 races at what least. What happens if you got another KTM? I, took a yeah, and uh, the, back in the old days, like I said, the new days, the KTM is, that that's uh, Garb it's still garbage. Yeah, that's man. my top, but um, I like, actually they don't have a made in USA bike, do they? I'm a jet bike guy. Do they Har have any Harley's, other? Harley's are made in USA. No, dirt bikes. Triumph? Are those gonna be made in USA? Can't answer that. The new Ricky Carmichael bike? Can't answer that. I don't know that one. Well, might, might be Triumph fans here soon. But anyways, I rode the whole season and I we uh we really like running AMS oil products. Can't right hurt here. a jet bike. Unless it's a Honda, then you can hurt them. Then they hurt. That thing's a hunk of crap. Doesn't even run. What year is that thing? I don't know. This is this bike is what that this is gonna look like that soon. Look at the angle of the. Leave a comment down below if you're gonna answer why that angle of that exhaust is so steep. Because they because Brantley's wrecked it nine thousand times. This is this. Actually, is his, you just take the bark busters off of this bike. This is his go-to. I'm not taking them off. What what do I need bark busters on this bike then? Oh yeah, I guess. Well, let's start right now. Uh, I can't answer that. This one's got. Fire right up, didn't it? What? You, how'd you get the carburetor fixed? Oh, you put another carburetor on, didn't you? How'd you fix it? I thought this thing leaked gas all over the floor. Never mind. All right, right. Need a, need a tire. I gotta get that. I gotta get this tire. But pretty sweet bike. The blue up here, that's pretty cool. I like the blue on top of the head. Hey, what's this thing? It's very cold nature, just like this. Yeah. It's a lot different. Is it? Let's get, is it's a get a free fronting, free floating front rotor, I guess. It's a 230? Yeah. And and like I said, anytime Brantley gets any anything for long, he destroys it. We still need it. We still, we, we, tell you what, there, stud, if you're watching this video, we said you destroy that. this one, you're crap out of luck. You can uh -uh. buy the next one on your own. Actually, he can. That's what's cool about YouTube. That's yeah. what we say. You can watch this video in 10 years from now. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, these bikes have gone ridiculously priced. They're not cheap hey, at all. Hey, Dad, he just left out of here a second ago. Dad's last bike he bought me, I'll never forget, was a 2005 450 EXC KTM. He said, this is the last bike I'm going to buy for. It. How old were you? I think I was older than Brantley. Well, he's getting ready to turn 14, so. Oh, this isn't his last bike. Brantley's got another two bikes probably. <laughs> Yeah. 18. He's going to be 18. Justin, the bikes back then were nowhere near what the price of now are. That 05 was probably, I think it was 5000 bucks, yeah. And it was a 450 EXE. Yeah. Now those bikes are 13000 Yeah, New. They're stupid priced. Absolutely stupid, stupid, stupid priced. So, 2022 YZ250F, and I guess the next clip you'll see. How are you going to surprise him, you think? I don't know. I gotta change. we got to change oil. Get, he's not going to be able to ride it until we get the oil change and stuff in it. Let's get on Amazon and get an oil filter order for it or let's go to River Beach and get one. Just got to figure out how much she flew and she holds. Another thing normally I like to do is, I don't know what kind of coolant's in it, but I, I don't think it needs to, but no, uh, we I'm can flush it. We can put engine ice in it. These never overheated. This is the KTM. No, my 250F overheated on a, on a, on the, on the stock coolant. I just ran on engine ice. On a mud ice. race? Huh? On a mud race? I can't remember that, but it overheated. It wouldn't overheat on a stock, on a, on a stock race, no, if you, you on a, mind a mud race, maybe. But I, just, I was beating it awful hard, too, you know? I mean, but, I mean, you get it to run, the engine ice is, is really simple to change I this thing. That, I think. Yeah. I did have some. Or you had some over here. Somebody had some over here. I don't know where it went. But, it probably just disappeared. I don't know. Next look you'll see will be uh, something. We'll figure it out. But that's the bike. We'll be back. That? That's it. No, well, yeah, then the things next to it there on the left. Right there. That little plug. 
shouldn't just pull out of there. As you all can tell, we're actually doing a uh, little bit of maintenance here on the bike for Brantley before. It's Saturday. Going to try and do an oil change. I might get a pair of, uh, I might get a pair of, uh, uh, needle nose, get a hold of it, I can't get a hold of it. Throwing oil change on it. Got an oil filter yesterday. Uh, might go ahead and change it over to Evans coolant. Got the auger oil of a choice here, AMS oil. What are y'all using your stuff? I use AMS oil and Literally, there's AMS oil in this, there's AMS oil in the trucks, AMS oil in everything. There it is. Got it? Mm -hmm. Did you pull out? Or how's it work? Pulls it out. Well, is there any, uh, I don't know. What's that right there? I don't know, I'm gonna spray it out. A couple little specs, they say to, it's like a little strainer, they say to blow it out with contact cleaner or whatever. Gas, I use gas. I use parts cleaner. That don't work. Get all the crap out of there. Probably do that like every other oil change or something. Uh, undo oil. I'm check the. I'll check this in a second. Intake. I'll check that in a second. Let me get some more. Uh, I got it over at the house. What? Clean air filter. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about more fuel for it. Oh yeah, we don't have any gas. Forgot about that. He's gonna need gas. This is where we are. Hold 771 cc's of oil, which is a stupid number. Why can't we just pay a foot a quart? Why can't I just have one quart total? So that's the first one. This is 500 cc's. You can see the line right there. And of course, we gotta go up to 771. What if this goes in a certain way? And it holds, uh, I don't know, you want me to turn that video back on? Mm -hmm. I don't think it does. I think it's fine. And then that bolt just holds it in. Here, I'll hold the bike up. And uh, it holds, yeah, it holds right at a quart of coolant. So we'll change that here in a second. The Evans, I can't remember. It says it. Uh, I think it. I can't remember how much cooler it makes the motor run. But runs a little bit cooler, Brantley's. Not to the, not to the age yet, but he'll be he'll be fast on this thing soon and beating the freaking crap out of it. So try to keep her protected. What I'm saying is his riding skill is going to get better, faster on this. He's already beating the crap out of that thing. But you start beating the crap out of this when you first start riding it, it'll throw you down a couple times and then he'll get used to it. I'm let you know who the boss is real quick because it ain't you. <laughs> Hold on, I got a, I'm going to put that plug back in it. Okay. Dream plug? Yeah. Anybody know, wanting to know on their 250Fs, it's a 12 millimeter. It's in a stupid spot. Yeah, it's up underneath the... Right there. Air pressure, check the chain. Should be ready to rip. I don't know how many hours. I don't know if you're supposed to do about every five hours or something, but... I'm sure this bolt's supposed to torque it something, too. Yeah, I've never done it. No, snug it up so it don't leak no more. Oh, that dirty. There's no hour meter on it, so, but it's it's definitely less than less than I'd say six hours on it, less for sure. He said he wrote it twice. Yeah, so there's maybe three or four hours on it, probably. So he's never ridden, so you know as well as I do, if he wrote it for any amount of time, he was wore out in ten minutes. You know? Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, if you're watching this video, a lot of people think um, riding dirt bikes, you just sit there and give it gas and take off or whatever, but it'll, uh, it's actually extremely good workout, believe it or not. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but it'll, the most physical, sport, physical fitness sport compared to soccer, they say. Yeah, it'll freaking wear you out in a minute. Uh, okay. Got to change the filter now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, There's an aid in it. There's a new one filter right here. Got 
Got this left over from when we were doing the 250X Trays dirt bike that we gave away. Uh, so we got those. So we just gotta get the, the bar, bar part of the brush guard. Really, brush guard and a skid plate. We're already doing fluids on it, air filter, and I mean, that's about it. Tighten the chain up and let her go. Is that? Yeah, it's in like that, okay. Not too dirty. dirty. Okay. Did you get this gasket dirty? Just nah, put, a little, put a little oil around that gasket too, they're saying. Here, well, take some off of that. Well, well then put it in here now. Well, there's some on the back too, I put it on the back. I'm not gonna get that off on your there, finger, just run your finger around it. I know, but why don't you just put some out of the thing? Well, I'll I'm, do it. Cause I'm holding this with my hand. I'll do it. I don't wanna do that, it's dirty. I really don't go, I, I must have just been popped on there with the gasket. Why? Because it, it don't sit like the other one did. See? It's the same filter. That's the same one, yeah. Just got to fit in it. Did you put it on there? Give it here. Bring the whole thing here, Justin. Bring it here. I'll do it. I don't want the cap dirty. It's fine. This is all technical shit anyway. You don't really need to do. Okay. 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 Yeah, funnel. I had it. I had it cleaned. I had oh, it laying right. there. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute, Justin. I got to tighten these up. Relax. I thought you already did it. Behind schedule. We ain't got no dirt bike tools over here. Oh, what what dirt bike tools? T handles. I don't need T handles. I've never used T handles in my life. I'm not a dirt, dirt bike mechanic. I'm just a stupid hillbilly. 500. Changing oil. That's 500, so six, so 771, so 271 cc's left. And it's got a side glass on it too, so that kind of makes it not as hard. Nothing yet down there. Huh? Nothing yet down there. Oh. I wish what we need to do is this is a brand new cord. Figure out what you're using out of the cord. You don't have to measure this crap out every time. So five, six, seven, so 271 cc's left. Supposedly, allegedly. Oh, the crap, I'm not going to measure that. There's mm -hmm. 50. What's that going up 10 at a time? 7, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1 of 10. 2, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 1 of 50s. Close. Ain't showing yet down here. That should be about right. We did. Right. We did start it up, let it warm up for anybody wanting to know. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, One quart. On. How much is left? I can't fucking see that, so it's getting old. 50, 60, 70. 60. That's 70. That's good. 
That's close. I just touched it. Almost at two. Almost at the two mark from a full, a brand new full court of it. Full court. Full court can talk. So, basically, basically with the two. That's the easiest way to do that. Put a set of measure and all this crap out. Let's see what the sight glass reads after we get it in here too. Should be over full until we start it, hopefully. Get your little lines down there where they want you to be. A little dirt right there. Hang on. Not. Nothing yet. There it is. Dirt in my cup. Mm -hmm. Halfway Clean up. that cup out. I don't understand why there's dirt in down there. That was the bike about half. Straight up and down. Good enough. Go ahead and start it up and then. I'm going to put the lid on there. Hold on. Real life for me. Check for leaks. Actually, I guess we'll just go ahead and do the. Inner freeze. Let's go ahead and do that too. That's an eight. Mm -hmm. So this thing holds one quart, so that's a half gallon. So that technically should be two quarts right there. All right. Got a bucket? There's one right underneath it. Well, I'm gonna use that. What, are you drunk? No, I mean for the end freeze. Drain both in there, they're both armed. Okay, come back to an eight here. Take the lid off the air radiator. Here, I can't. You need to do it? Yeah. Here, I'll do it, Justin. Just, just hold on a minute. Okay. You can always tell the drain for those because it's got a little uh, copper crush washer there. It's going to spray. Across the, across the uh, floor here, probably. It's probably gonna spray a little bit. Shoot a little pressure? No, I mean it. It, may, it should shoot all the way. It'll probably miss. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to get on them tools. I ain't gonna hurt the kids on the tools. See what he had in it already. Engine ice. It is nice, isn't it? In the fresh coolant change here. So that's why it's kind of important. What if they put engine ice from the factory? He didn't change it. I guarantee it. You hear me? Oh, Jesus. Man, scared me. Crush. I thought I lost the crush washer. We're good. I don't know. I'll double check that. Well, maybe that's Yamaha's antifreeze. Blue like that. I don't know. I've always had such good luck with, like I said, I always ran engine ice and Yamahas and um, this Evan stuff. I started running the KTM's and they're uh, do not add water. Can't add water to this stuff. Yeah. You sure? I think it's pretty much empty. But well, we'll be back here in a little bit. All right, y'all just saw it, cleaned it. You know, dude, with that noise in the background, that fan? Yeah, it's burning up, it's like 90. Oh. It's like the, Justin washed this thing, it's still dirty. I know, yeah, I said I would've washed it three or four more times, but the uh, oil's done, Evans is in there, and the radiator, air filter wasn't dirty at all, at all, obviously. This thing can't have three hours on it. And uh, yeah, the wind noise might be messing it up, actually. I know I don't have no rat tail going on. Be back down at the... I had the well, mic plugged in the wrong hole again. But fluids are done. Tighten the chain a little bit. Check the air pressure and the tires. Uh, what else? You're do we, What else do we do? Not now. You all look at it right here. This is in all its glory. Because next time I show you a picture of it, he'll have destroyed it. <laughs> so that happens when you don't buy your own crap. But the first time you buy your own bike, 
you learn real quick not to destroy him. But he actually, he'll be able to buy a bike yet. So, what do you got to say to Brantley in the future when he's watching this? Don't tear it up, <laughs> but he will. Yeah. But so the plan is the rundown. Uh, Brantley's with his mom. It's Saturday today, and you're gonna go get him tomorrow. We'll get him in the morning. Yeah. You're gonna get him in the morning, and bring him over. Um, Trey's gonna text me when he's on the way home. Say he's whatever five minutes out. I'm gonna come inside the garage. the The main garage door right here is it doesn't get used because it doesn't work the best. So everybody uses the main garage. Somebody, they use the main garage door. So Trey's gonna- get brush guards, you gotta get a skid plate still too, tell them that. Yeah. yeah. So Trey's gonna pull up, you're gonna pull up in the truck. I'm already gonna be inside the garage with the door closed. I'm just yeah. gonna tell him I need him. I said, I'm gonna let him get out and start walking around the front of the truck, start to get his crap. And then I'm gonna say, dad, go on a bud, run in that garage and get my wallet out of that side bag of my Harley. Yeah, right up there. So then what he'll do is open the keypad up, open the door there and- I guess he'll be standing right here. So I'll be standing over here maybe to get his get his reaction with the camera. So hopefully, uh, if you all know anything about Brantley growing up, he's pretty, uh, I guess he's technically like me. He he's is. A, he's, a, he's a mess in the head. So he's like me. No, he just wants everybody to be happy. So hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll like this. Oh, if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. We'll get this, we'll get this angle right here. I didn't mean a mess in the head. I mean, yeah. He just likes every, he don't like any argon. I need, I need to wash it by that Harley, it's nasty. But the next clip you'll see, hopefully I'll be right there and we'll get Brantley's reaction. We'll be back. Okay, just got the text from Trey. So he's passing Scott, which is our high school, our old high school, which is only two minutes from here, so. This is freaking awesome. My heart's pounding. <laughs> man, I hope he tells me to go in the garage door. Don't look through that man door, man. <laughs> that's freaking sick, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> you like it? What, you think I hate it? Yeah, I like it. It's a 2022. I had no idea. You what? I had no idea. Well, I know you had no idea. That's crazy. Turn the, light, turn the light on and look at it. What day did we get it? Two days ago, yesterday or the day before? Did oil change and fluid change and cleaned it up and she's ready to rip. It's probably got less than three hours on it. Does it have a key? Nope. nope. Just touch that button right there on right next to your throttle. That's cold. It's got a cold start button, Brandon, they say, but I don't know how much I believe that, but Justin says they do, but it's weird because look over here, out, that right there, that it's not on. So if you push it in, see, that's supposed to choke it.
very bad at all. I fit you perfect. He won't need sleep. No, I'm saying he won't need sleep. It's not muddy. It shouldn't be very muddy at all. He needs to get boots and pants and stuff on. get it muddy is he'll find a mud hole that's what he'll do he's perfect for that and stolen one kid they sound they sound good stock hello it is muddy back here too <clears throat> it'll be dry here in an hour <laughs> his hair's in his eyes you can't see You move your stupid hair out of your face. What do you think about it? Clown. I can't hold the throttle steady. I'm shaking. You got so so Brantley, we got to show you a couple things. Watch some videos on it later or whatever. But this is your map switch, and I think you can hook your phone up. Um, it's Bluetooth. You can hook your phone up to it and adjust the settings. You can adjust the throttle sensitivity. Look at it. What? I'm shaking. Shaking. <laughs> I am. I can't hold. Move the your hair out of your face. See what? Boy. Is it in gear right now? Uh. Oh, yeah. Hey, well. Just, uh, I can't get it. Is it neutral? So here's your map switch. Hold that. See how it blows blue? You can turn it off. So you can, can you download the, I think it's a GY, whatever. The, how do you say that? The GY. GYR or something. GYTR GYT app or whatever on your phone. You can adjust throttle sensitivity and you can make it hit harder than it's hitting now and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But it's about perfect for your size right now. About perfect. No, I think he's excited. That's what that means. That's cool. We'll rip it up. I guess you got to go show up. Uh, he's not here. Oh, you got to show him that two strokes suck and four strokes are better. No, nah, I don't. I don't agree with that. Boy. <laughs> you will have to ride in this. I'm telling you. Well, You're gonna like it. Look, hey, you know one cool thing about that? Just uh, press that button right there. Button. What button? It's all. It's electric start. There's no kick. I could have done that on a cat. Could you? Well, if I bought like the thing for it. You're a clown. I didn't, but I could have. Starts fast, too. Hey, Br hey Brantley. Brantley, once, it's, once this is warmed up, it's not like a carburetor. It'll stay running on its own. You don't have to keep it running like a two-stroke. That's another plus to a four-stroke. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Save. Don't crash on camera. Hey, look at that first bump start. You can't do that with a recluse. <laughs> he likes it. I'd say he does. Sweet. I wonder if we'll catch his first crash. Throwing a, multiple bikes have thrown a lot of people down right here in the spec. Yeah. Hardest I ever crashed my life in the backyard. He's just trying to get used to it. Feel it out. Stay out of the woods. We got to get cross guards and stuff over here. Yeah, you like it.
those freaking uh, oil pump like that. That's really neat. Thanks, four stroke people. Water pump. Yeah, it's both. It's like you can reach out there. And well, they give you a little. They give you a little plastic thing. Yeah, it's a plastic thing. It's a motocross bike. What happened to my bike? First day he took his out. No, that's what I don't understand about these. Um, I mean, because there's. There's still rocks and stuff in motocross. I don't know if they run skid plates or I don't think they do. I think Michael probably crashed and didn't tell us. Well, you'd have to land on the motor. You gotta have a skid plate for the buses. Honda today, 60 bucks. One rear, and that's it. No front. So, what's your thoughts? Huh? What's your cool. thoughts? What you say? What's your thoughts? I'm thinking. I can't hold across this. <laughs> um, Think it'd be pretty hot. cool. It's what? It's hot. It's burning my, my feet. What's hot? hot? What's hot? Getting hot? Yeah. Well, you're supposed to have boots on and pants. Feel like it's, they feel like it's pretty fast, or what's it feel like? I haven't left first gear. <laughs> well, you better ease up that fat little driveway there and just clean them weak tires out unless you want to keep cold. You're going to probably want to ride, aren't you? Yeah, you can ride as much as you want. Yeah, All right. Well, really he likes it. We just took the Took the thumbnail. You better like it. <laughs> Easy, I'll get some pants on. Uh, let us know about down below if you guys want to see maybe a little bit of riding or whatever. Anything you all want to see. But hopefully, you all liked it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, subscribe here. Subscribe to the Bell Life Bangs. Subscribe to Ask the Bell Life. And check us out on thebelllife.com. All the links will be in the description. See you all in the next one. Have a great day. Say bye, Lake. Give him a thumbs up.